So a friend messaged me and asked me what is the cheapest Tesla you can get with full self-driving. Right now, if you were going to buy a Model 3 Standard Range Plus and add full self-driving on it with no other upgrades, you're looking at a $47,000 car. And since I have sold a number of cars in my time that I worked for Tesla, he also asked me, is there some secret you know of, some way to find something even cheaper than what you can, might be able to find out there? And the answer to that is yes. There is a secret and I'm gonna share it with you. Option number one is you can buy a brand new Model 3. There actually is a version of the Model 3 that's not available on the Tesla website. You can buy a $35,000 Model 3. This is called the Standard Range Model 3, not the Standard Range Plus that Tesla has on the website. All you have to do is call into a local Tesla store, use a referral code, and tell them that you are looking to buy a Model 3 standard range, the $35,000 one, and they will help you put in a special order for it. Now, if you want full self-driving on this car, you will need to add autopilot and full self-driving. This is going to get expensive and ultimately will push you up to the same $47,000 price point as what we were mentioning at the beginning of this video. The benefit of this is you can still buy the $35,000 Model 3 and later down the road, once the car has the features available that you're looking for, you can always buy those software upgrades and upgrade your car. So it's a great way for you to still get a Model 3 today, but worry about software upgrades later. Number two, you can buy a used Model 3 and the best way to find one of these is by checking online. Sites like Carvana, and Vroom. You can be looking at these online. They usually keep their inventory there based on your zip code or something that's relatively close to you. And you can check and see whenever they get new cars in stock or used cars in stock that are Model 3s. Now, there are two problems with this. One, this is first come, first serve. So you're probably not the only person that's looking at these websites. There are probably a lot of people that also really want Model 3s and probably a lot of people that want them with full self-driving. You can do something very cool to help that problem and you can turn on notifications from a lot of these websites. Every time they get new Model 3s in a certain price range or with certain features, you can get an email notification as soon as it happens. This still will be first come, first serve, but it gives you a better shot at trying to find one of these cars before someone else can snag them. If you've already done some searching for used Model 3s, you'll notice they're kind of scarce. People really, really like their cars, and that's awesome. That's a really cool testament to the product. The other problem with going through a third-party dealer like Carvana or Vroom is Tesla's warranty has something specific about damage done from a third party, meaning if you pick up the car from a third-party dealer and anything has been done to change it or to hurt it or repair is done, whatever is the issue, the warranty can be voided. And that's serious. Be aware before you go into any situation, um, make sure you have the car inspected, get photos of it, whatever the case, but do your due diligence there. If you're enjoying the info in this video so far, please consider liking and subscribing. It sends an alert to someone over at YouTube HQ that Electric Auto Squad deserves some attention in the recommended section. Uh, it's a little more complicated than that, but it would very much help out this channel. Thank you. Okay, number three, and this is the real secret that I've been waiting to get to, Facebook. There was a gentleman about six months ago, back when I used to work for the company, that wanted to sell his Model 3 Standard Range Plus. He loved the car, his girlfriend hated it. She had a couple of friends that convinced her that battery fires were something terrifying and that she should not be driving a Tesla. And even though she liked the car at first, she convinced him that she couldn't drive it anymore and he needed to get rid of it fast. So that's what he did. He took it to CarMax locally and CarMax gave him an in-person quote of $31,000. He didn't want to just give it to CarMax. He preferred to just give it to someone else in the community that was looking to get a Tesla for cheap and he ended up private selling it for $31,000 about one month after he had bought the car for $40,000 plus tax. That was a rare situation, but he went through something local. He went through word of mouth. He went through the local Tesla Facebook page. He went through other people that were Tesla enthusiasts that wanted to get into a car for a really decent deal. And he was someone who was in a position to be able to help them out. 
what I recommend, this is what I think the biggest secret way to get a Tesla for cheap for a really good deal is go onto your local Facebook pages for Tesla owners. Look at Model 3 pages. You can even look at Model Y pages or Cybertruck pages. Anywhere where people are talking about Teslas and probably own them, they're also probably going to be thinking at some point, okay, what am I going to do with my car when I'm done with it? At the end of the next couple of years when I'm getting my Cybertruck, if I'm getting a new Model Y, where is my Model 3 going to go? You can make some friends, get some great info about the cars, and make your name known and your intentions known. Say that you're looking for a you know low-priced Model 3 with full self-driving on it. Um, even if it doesn't have full self-driving on it, you'll still be able to get the attention of people who have Model 3s that are considering selling their cars in the future. It probably will take some time until you find someone who's immediately ready to go, but this, this is, in my opinion, the right way to go about trying to find a good deal for a Model 3. Now, this method may change in the future, and if it does, then we'll be here to cover that. I received a lot of good comments and criticism from my last video, and if you have any of that, let me know. I'm very grateful for any feedback. Stay safe.